Welcome, welcome my fellow familiars. Today will be the last episode that will look at the mono blue Eldrazi mill deck. This deck I'll be honest sucked completely, except ga last game of episode number 2, but overall not quite happy with it. I don't think it's possible to create a decent uh, mono blue Eldrazi only deck, but it was worth a try and hopefully we'll end up getting decent games. So. Pedro cast 444 level 2 and we're also level 2 Okay, oh great not enough islands. Come on. What the heck is up with this? Uh, yeah, I don't want to mill myself lower than that So let's get on with it Probably start with an island Hope maybe our opponent will wait our opponent is mulliganing though anyways he didn't really mulligan, never mind. Okay. So he mulliganed twice, then that was all. And what is he choosing to do here, I wonder? Okay, we're up against an allies deck. Aggressive version of it at that. Okay then. And another island. So let's just do Skyline Cascade here. And then quickly island into infiltrator. And hopefully draw into one more mana necessary for us to start doing contraband and what else we need. Okay, so there's the mountain. And what? Dragon fodder? Okay then. Quite an interesting play there. Okay, so well, let's not delay. Infiltrator. So I'm wondering. Our opponent might have Titan Strength. If he does, and I do block his Goblin, then Infiltrator is dead. Hmm. Let's see if the opponent does swing. And if he does, there is a chance that he is going to have a Titanic, uh, not Titanic, or Titan Strength. So yeah. Anyways, let's see what happens. Whoa. Okay, so it's an enhancement deck. That's for sure. Yep. So he swings. I will block just one. Take one damage. Here we go. Okay. Oh jeez, this guy has damage effects turned on. That's terrible. Okay then. We have Hydro Lash up, so this is what I'm planning to do. Swing. And keep the Hydro Lash up. Okay, Hydro Lash of course is better if we have Sphinx Tutelage, but what can we do? Okay, there is the Exile. What was it? So he does have some allies there. That's, that's very interesting. Well, there is also Spell Shrivel, just in case if our opponent does something that we don't like. Well, anyways, let's see what he chooses to do. Nimbus Wings, I do not like that. Hey, Spell Shrivel, whoo! That was scary. Okay, so that's fine, we'll just take 3 damage, better than having this guy. Ah, jeez. Okay, well, at least he's not a flyer, so that's already something. Now, if we only draw into one more land, we can play Merc Strider, send him back, and have this enhancement fall off, which would be really nice. Okay, so I'm not sure what the opponent's waiting for here, really. 7 damage, we go down to 12 here. Okay. Maybe I should have allowed him to put the Nimbus Wings and played Hydro Lash, hoping that I draw into land and then play Merc Strider next turn, thus getting rid of this. I don't know. So many choices one could do. Okay, we're in big, big trouble here, guys. Uh, let's just swing. 
and we will be using Hydro Lash next turn, taking 4 damage, going down to 8. And if we don't draw into a land, we're screwed. The thing I don't understand in this deck is we have 24 lands. And somehow we don't draw into a single one. Just don't get it. Okay, so let's see what the opponent chooses to do. He probably has an enhancement there. He's scared to play it just because he thinks I will uh, cancel it or something. Okay, oh, he's going to give this plus two plus two. Oh, never mind, he gives it to the goblin. That's fine. Oh, never mind, Kiss plus one, plus one. Well, better for us, Hydro Lush will take care of that then, so we'll be only taking four damage. He's pumping up his Flamekin here. Yep. Okay then. I really hope Hydro Lush gets us a good land here. That's the only hope. So, six damage we are taking, going down to six. Okay, we drew it to land. Excellent, Merc Strider. This goes gets sent back and we should be in a decent position from that point onwards okay it's not bad yet we still have another hydro lash up but I think Mark Strider yep here we are let's make the enhancement fall off here yes uh, let's just put this into the bonus graveyard. Here we are. Not swinging, of course. Okay. If something gets out of hand, we have another Merc Strider, of course. Now I finally learned what Merc Strider does. That's a good thing. Anyways, let's see what he does. He's got three cards. One of them is the Flamekin. So the other two cards could be anything from a pump up to an enhancement. Oh, it's a creature, a flying creature at that. A two, two, okay. So next turn we're definitely probably keeping up Hydro Lush. The opponent does not swing. That is good choice. Well then, do we want to take that two damage? and have I actually don't mind taking that 2 damage because then Hydro, if I play Hydro Lash the turn after what ends up happening is uh, skip the attack, let's move on so if I play Hydro Lash the turn after oh never mind, our opponent has an enhancement that's going to pump this up and get us killed but what I was thinking is I play Hydro Lash, draw a card, triggers you know, we get an extra trigger from Sphinx Tutelage which would make things nicer but maybe not only we drew into that land much sooner, if only. Okay, there is the Flamekin. Okay. Wow. We're in big trouble now. So, we're taking two damage here to our face. Yep. Hydro Lash is going to be our saving grace. Because next turn that's 4 damage in the air to us. And we're dead. By the way guys, let me know if... Like, for example, I created a deck like this. And I do realize... Well, I myself am not a huge fan of this deck. And I somewhat dislike it. Not somewhat, actually. I dislike it quite a lot. So, let me know if you guys are interested in me ever playing games like this so you know if you tell me I hate this deck I won't play it for example so let me know what you think about this because personally I am enjoying this game however I don't know if watching me lose makes any difference I'm learning stuff here you know it's quite entertaining for me but still I don't know if you guys are enjoying it this much okay Hydro Lush Bone to Ash, ah, that's not good. Uh, 
Okay, so let's see, what can we do here? If we play Olamox Reclaimer, that's not good. Okay, let's mill our opponent some more. Let's play an island. <sighs> so let's see. Next turn we can go down to one health. Or Foundry of the Consoles. Getting rid of one of the flyers. That's not such a bad choice either, so yeah, let's do this. Get two topters out. Survive just for a little bit longer. Okay. This no, this is not going to work out anyway. So if our opponent swings, I'll kill one of them. And if he swings with everything here, so Sandstone Bridge, he gives one of them Vigilance and First Strike. Well, this already had First Strike pretty much. Okay, so... Oh, crap. That's 4 damage already, so... The birds are going to live. Yep. There we are, and there we are. Confirm block. Okay. We still lost this though. Pretty sure. I don't think we'll be drawing into anything else that could save us here. Maybe another foundry of the consoles, who knows? Holy crap, I was right! <laughs> okay then guys. Moving on. Sacrifice foundry of the consoles. Get more flyers. Skip the attack and move on. Well, our opponent's down to 28 cards. <laughs> I'm being a little bit optimistic here, I do realize this, but seriously. It's working out. Maybe we join you a third foundry of the consoles after this turn. He swings with everything. Probably got a pump up spell in there, I'm 100% positive of that, so. Block, and block, and block, and block, so, whoop, never mind, that will kill us, and block, is that what I want to do, yep, yep, so let's see, his, never mind, Gideon's Reproach, well, what difference does it make to play Gideon's Reproach right now, that's a very silly move on our opponent's end there, Okay, so he kills this. Bravo. The damage is still not going to go through. I dealt 3 damage and I go down to 1 health. There it is. Opponent still watching the damage effects. Okay. So we're down to 1 health. Come on. Finish watching the effects. Jeez. Okay. Let's see how we survive now. Well, let me see. Ulamux Reclaimer, not good. Merc Strider. Okay, let's say like I kick this back, for example. Right? Yes. Doesn't matter. So this gets kicked back, okay. So next turn, opponent swings with both, he gets the one point of damage and he wins. That's pretty obvious. Yep. I tried to survive for as long as possible, but unfortunately we didn't draw into that one mana that we needed and that screwed us over guys. So there we go, Foundry Street Denison. Wow. Will he swing with both? Hopefully. Is he going to let us live longer? Okay, never mind, we lost this. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this game. I'll see you guys in game number two. And we're back for game number two. So here's the thing with this deck guys, it sucks. I do realize I'm going to lose. However, to me it kind of feels like a puzzle to try to survive for as long as possible, not necessarily win, but just survive. And I'm enjoying this, so yeah. 
And also, I think previous game I could have survived for a little bit longer if I didn't play Hydro Lash as quickly, but... I mean, if I played Hydro Lash first, but it's okay. Pablo Salvini. And he leaves, unfortunately. Maybe got disconnected. Servers have been laggy today. We have Sphinx Tutelage, I like that, so... Even though we got four islands now and are completely mana flooded, but we do need four islands for stuff, so that's good. Okay, an island, salvage room. Our opponent is uh, blue-green. That should be interesting, actually. Looking forward to it. So there's the green. And a creature. Yep, Elvish Visionary. Okay, then. see what we're drawing to. Ooh, double Sphinx Tutelage. I like that. So I'm not swinging with this yet. I'll get double Sphinx Tutelage out and once I do that's when I'll swing. Choose to draw a card and discard a card and things will be hanky-dory. I think that's how you say it in English. I'm not too sure. Okay. Mist Intruder. Nice. So Sphinx Tutelage. There we are. Skip the attack, move on. Opponent plays telling time. I think opponent does have Kiora Master of Waves in there. Maybe, who knows. So no swinging, that is good, good. Oh no, really? You just had to do that to me, that's fine. Meal the opponent. Okay, more islands, more Sphinx tutelage. I am contemplating swinging here, guys. So, we'll... Okay, opponent does not block. Interesting. Wonder why. Nice! That was good swing. Otherwise, we would have been in bigger trouble. So... There's the Elvish Visionary, one damage at us. Okay. Whoa. And they have a landfall. That's not pretty. And they're renowned. Okay. So here we are. I have no idea what the hell is going on here, guys. I don't know if you see this, but... I think this is considered as opponent's graveyard? I don't know. Okay. Oh yeah, we're playing against the computer, I just realized that. Uh, let's swing. Move. And swing. Yeah, let's do that. Please block, please block. He lets that through. Okay, then I'm playing Mork Strider and getting rid of this guy there. So. Let's play Foundry of the Consoles, let's play Mark Strider, kick this guy back for one more turn. Yes, let's put this back. Okay, well at least we got rid of Nisa, which was good. One place these guys again, and we will kick them back once more. Okay, we mill our opponent. Now, I can play Merc Strider once more. Which I will. Kick this back again. And swing with these two. Here we are, yes. Uh, that's fine. I don't really care. Let's swing, hopefully he chumps block the drone. Hopefully. Okay, he does it. So one more card gets exiled. And the mill is on here. Whoa, what is this? Coastal Discovery. Let's play that island. And let's move on. So he's going to play the Rocks Monks there again, which is fine. Just play Mist Intruder. Yep. Oh, never mind. Not Rock Smog. Rock Smallers. Okay, then. There we go. Double mill. 
Oh, double Mist Intruder is gonna be nice. Really, really nice. And I'll sacrifice the Merc Striders to the Rocks Rollers. Okay, here we are, and here we are. Excellent. I will not attack this turn, unfortunately. So let's see what the opponent chooses to do. He probably has a Titan Strength. Maybe he does not. Whoa! That's not good, but thankfully he does not gain a 5 life, which is good. It's a 7 8 though. That's a problem. Okay, mill mill. We have Hydro Lush up, which is very good. This means that we're swinging with double Mist Intruders. Swing, swing, confirm. Don't quite have lethal for the processor, but I'll just take the damage, that is fine. Our opponent is very heavily milled here. This is going to be an extremely fun game, which we win, thankfully. That's good. But then that kinda sucks. We won against an AI, we can't win against a human. Okay, whoa, he's swinging with everything here. We're in big trouble. Oh, he did not swing. And we have double Hydro Lush, which I'm more than content on using, but we just don't have the mana for double Hydro Lash. Damn it! Oh well, we can use it once. That's that's good enough, I think. Swing, swing, confirm. Here it is, and here it is. Okay, let's continue. And let's see how our opponent chooses to swing here. Oh no. Oh, okay then. That's an interesting play, of course. Whirler Rock, he's going to make one of them unblockable. Which guy? Most likely Rock Smallers, if I'm not mistaken, just because it has Renown. But we'll see. So he swings. I'm doing Hydro Lash. Wish I could do it twice, but unfortunately I cannot. Uh, double mill our opponent, milled, and I think Inspiration is going to get the job done. Okay, he made this guy unblockable, so we can kill someone. So we can kill this guy, keep one of our creatures, and what do we do with this? Do we want to kill Gaius Revenge? I think yes. Nah. Or just take... This is what we do. And I draw a card and discard a card, which I don't hate. So... Let's take the damage. Excellent. Yes, I will use the ability. We drew into Rock's Passage. So, Olamox Reclaimer. Yep, confirm. Mill and Mill. And a simple Inspiration. Our opponent's done. Yep. Inspiration gets the job done here. Well then, for once it worked. Against an AI, of course, but it worked. Oh, never mind, it completely worked, so... Ah, let's just skip the turn. We win. Well then, this has been game number two, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in final game number three. And we're back for the last game and of this deck and episode. Yeah, last, I gotta say, last victory felt so, so empty, kinda wish it felt more meaningful, but that's fine. Baltic Sword, level 1 guy, wonder why he chose that thing. Okay, 4 lands, Sphinx Tutelage, I like this hand, let's keep it. And we're up against Black something deck, that should be interesting, so start off with an island. As quickly as we can, we should get just Sphinx Tutelage, then just keep Spell Shrivel up, just in case our opponent plays something. And... There is Child of Night. That's gonna be rough. Well, at least we have the 4 mana necessary. That's, that's the best thing here. We got going on for ourselves, so Rogue's Passage. And then we also have Coastal Discovery afterwards for that card draw. Kinda sucks that it's a sorcery, but sometimes Awaken might be bad. I mean, might be good, not bad, sorry. 
Okay, he's got Richard Chuhagra. Whoa, that's a complete life gain deck. Oh yeah, by the way guys, next episode is going to be a life drain deck. Not life gain, but life drain. So, look forward to it. It should be good. Um, Island, Sphinx Tutelage. Don't even know what this image shows, but yeah. So let's see what the opponent does. Liliana, oh boy. There's the retreat to Hagra. Life gain, okay then. Now, since... Do I want to keep Spell Shrivel up, or do I want to play Benthilic Infiltrator? Because that 2 damage with Lingaras, it's not pleasant. But, well, we have Hydro Lash actually, so... I don't mind that damage with Lingaras. And that we will still have Spell Shrivel up, just in case... We'll see what the opponent does. If he makes the mistake of playing on his first main phase, that is. Which doesn't always happen, really. Oh, he did! Hold on! There's the spell shrivel. That worked out decently. Okay, Hairless Mirror. That's fine. Retreat to Hagra, more life gain, more life drain. Okay. And opponent goes up to 30 life while we're down to 10. It is, so next turn... I'm keeping Hydro Lash up next turn, that's what I'm doing. Mill our opponent, hey, we have more Hydro Lashes, that's excellent. So let's just move on with this. I like this. So let's see what the opponent plays. I realize so far we haven't played a single creature, that is good. Okay, retreat to Hagra, more life drain. Not much I can do about it, unfortunately. So opponent swings with everything, hopefully. Yep. Hydrolash! And Mew! Here we are. Mew our opponent some more. I don't even want to play Skyline Cascade, but, you know, not a bad choice, so let's play it on Liliana here, have the Hydro Lash up once again, next uh, Skyline Cascade goes on to this guy, Grave played Marauder of course, okay, so Guardian of the Mountain, if it dies he gains 3 life, right? Yep. Okay, he swings. And we Hydro Lash. And we mill our opponent. That's good. So far, things are going pretty well for us. Okay, mill our opponent some more. Play the Skyline Cascade. Well, let's see. I can play Coastal Discovery this turn and then place Salvage Drone, so let's do that. Let's do Coastal Discovery. Okay, yep. Mill our opponent. Whoa, another Sphinx Tutelage. This is gonna be good. Salvage Drone. Okay. Next turn, I'm thinking of doing Olomox Reclaimer and bringing back uh, Hydro Lash. Don't think that's such a bad choice, so might as well do that. Oh boy, that's going to hurt. A lot. Need to get rid of Perilous Merc, most likely. Well, let's see. Who do we want to get rid of here? This is 3, 5, 8 damage to us. If I get rid of Perilous Merc, we're dead. So. Confirm this block. Here we are. I want you to draw a card and discard a card. Yes. 
Liliana comes out on the board, of course. That's the unpleasant part. But what can you do? So, island. Mill our opponent. Well, actually, if I play Olomox Reclaimer next turn. Let me see. I play Olomox Reclaimer next turn. Get Hydro Lash up. Yes, I can survive for just a little bit longer that way. That makes sense. We're down to 3 life, unfortunately, though. Okay. Oh! Creature cards in your graveyard. That's painful. So he's going to ask us to discard. It's Bentley Infiltrator that we discard. Oh, he's bringing back something. The last three healer. Okay then. That is fine. So here we go. Let's play Ulamox Reclaimer. Ah, uh, here's the thing that sucks here, guys. I play Ulamox Reclaimer. We're one land short of doing Hydro Lash. And we lose this game. Damn it, we were so close too. So damn close. Yep, this is it. Anyways. Yeah, opponent's gonna play and we lose this. He swings with everything, unfortunately. Or he just drains us of life here. <sighs> so, we lost this. Yeah, there we go. So yeah guys, please let me know if you wanna see crappy decks like this at all whatsoever or if you want me to just stop and if you want me to stop of course you have to tell me to stop thank you so much for watching this episode and i'll see you guys in the next episode bye